Ben Venom has been my nickname since I was a teenager. I got it from like hanging around the Atlanta punk rock scene. Everyone had a nickname that I knew back then, and I was Venom, Ben Venom. The work I'm doing now, I think about it as two opposing forces colliding, where you have like heavy metal, which is tough and loud and fast, and you have quilting, which is soft and kind of slow and won't hurt anybody. And I just kind of go like this, and then you got quilting with heavy metal. And I kind of want to be right in that middle where if something explodes and then something new happens. I kind of like to break through those boundaries. I'm definitely not your typical quilter. And then on top of that, I'm making some like very strong and kind of aggressive or scary imagery. All my work definitely has a strong conceptual base to it, but this operates on a couple different levels where even if you're not really familiar with art at all, and you know Slayer, you know Iron Maiden, you know Metallica, that's something you can take away from seeing my work. People are able to directly relate to it on just like on a base level. There's a lot of underlying humor to the work too. It goes beyond the heavy metal. It goes into like a little bit of mythology and then definitely the occult. I had all these shirts lying around for many years that I, I would be wearing, and some of them I had to retire because they just got too threadbare. I had a show in Berlin, Germany, and I decided to pull the shirts out and cut those up because there were just nothing left of them. I had already been doing a lot of sewing at that time, so I just thought I'd take it to the next level and make it into a quilt, so a new metal quilt was born. I got a lot of comments about, oh, this works really interesting. Um, Who'd you pay to make it? They thought I had a bunch of old ladies in my garage that I didn't tell anybody about. And I was just like down there, like cracking the whip on them to like make everything for me. And then I was just signing my name at the end of the day. I was like, no, 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 no. It's all done by me. I'm not farming it out to your grandmother or anything like that. I wasn't trying to go and have a perfect, technically clean piece. It was more about the idea. I would say like 95% of the shirts on the quilts, on all my quilts, are bands that I listen to. A big part of that is I want to be into the band that I'm going to use the shirt from. I try to use ones that have been worn. It's a new life for them. It's like a different phase. They weren't able to be worn as shirts anymore, so now they're in a different form. They serve a totally different function now, and they'll kind of live on for a little bit longer.